Hello everyone and welcome back to this third video. In this video we'll look at how we can get our app to respond to themes which is light and dark. So let's see when I click light here. As you can see my settings window changed to uh, a light background and when I switch to dark it switches to a dark background and you can also see it on this title bar right here when I switch to light this becomes white with black text and when I switch to dark it goes to black with white text so we want our app to also respond to these themes so what we are going to do is we are going to use appearance appearance from react native that's what we'll use and within our home uh, component let's make a constructor and within our constructor we can do uh, we can have a state variable so I say this dot state equals and I have theme so within theme what I want to do is um, I want appearance dot get color scheme so this gives me the color scheme which is selected in my um, windows settings which is dark or light so this is going to be either equal to dark or uh, it's going to be equal to light so based on this theme now what we can do is we can give some style so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I have multiple styles one of them is of course container the other one is based on theme so if I have theme um, actually if I have this dot state dot theme equals um, equals dark then I want styles dot dark I need a question mark here so styles dot dark and otherwise I want styles dot light and I want to do the same thing to all my components so let's copy this thing right here and paste it here as well for my info text for my button and for my button text as well and of course I'll have to change this to info text and button and button and I want um, button text here so button text and now we need to define these dark and light styles and let's first just remove all of the colors that I've given so I'm going to get rid of both of these and now I'm going to define my dark and light styles so I have dark and I have light so within dark what I want to do is I want my background color to be um, black let's say and I want my um, foreground color to be white so that's what I've done in my dark theme and for my light theme what I'm going to do is the exact opposite so I have uh, white here and I want black as the foreground color so let's save this and go back to our app let's check our settings once so we are right now at dark and let's just reload this thing now so I go and reload the reason I'm getting the text as white is because um, invalid prop color um, so I need this here and now I can go back so now as you can see I'm getting a light theme even though I have dark selected here and the reason that's happening is because I have uh, my chrome debugger on so what I want to do is I want to close the chrome debugger because with the debugger on this uh, get color scheme always gives me light so what I want to do is I want to uh, disable remote js debugging and now I'm at dark right now so as you can see it's giving me a dark theme and let me just switch to light so when I switch to light there was no change but let me now reload my JavaScript so when I reload JavaScript now 
as you can see I've got the light theme right here so my uh, theme part is actually working correctly it's just that I don't have um, a dynamic thing for theme change between my app so while my app is open if someone changes the theme I don't uh, have any way to dynamically respond to that and we'll add that right now so what I want to do is I want handle theme change and uh, this is a function which handles the theme change and for some reason the uh, method that was given the documentation didn't work for me so what I'm instead going to do is I'm just going to say this dot set state and within my st set state I'm just going to set my theme to again appearance dot get color scheme so this should work now so what I want to do now is I want to attach a listener to whenever there is a change in my theme I want this function to be called right here uh, this function handle theme change so let's go ahead and write our component did mount method and from within this method all I have to do is I just have to say appearance dot add change listener and I need to give uh, my method name so handle theme change that's the name and I also want to remove this listener when I'm um, when I'm going to unmount my component so I want appearance dot remove change listener and the same uh, method name again so handle theme change and that's all I have to do now um, let's go check out our app um, I want this dot handle theme change here so this dot handle theme change and this dot handle theme change here as well so let's go ahead and reload our code and let's see what theme we have selected we have the light theme selected right now let's switch to dark and as you can see my app uh, immediately changed to the dark theme when I switch back to light uh, it again comes to the light theme and of course my stack screen is not going to change because I haven't given uh, any style for uh, according to the theme in the stack screen so let's come back to our home screen here we can see when I switch to dark and when I switch to light so this is working perfectly and before we finish off this video I just want to say that if you're using functional components you'll have to use um, the use color scheme hook that's the react hook that you want to use if you're using functional components so that's it for this video and uh, these were the couple of videos that I was thinking about I'm uh, not planning on making this an entire series but once again if you want me to make this an entire series do put it in the comments and if you have any suggestions on what I can do a series on if you want some specific windows app that you would like me to make in the uh, series then you can mention that as well if the video helped you don't forget to uh, give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel share the video with your friends and I would love to see if you watch this video and make some windows app I would love to see what app you've made so give me a link in the comment section um, or reach out to me on any of the uh, platforms mentioned in the description I'll see you some other time